Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you're in. It's Jess from Audio Plugin Deals, and today we're having a look at Tonal Trailer Tools, which is created by music composer Alex Pfeffer. So basically, this is just a very simple interface um, with plenty of sort of different samples that will help you with trailer music or whatever kind of electronic kind of music you're wanting to make. I mean, any genre really. Um, and they consist of sort of, you know, hits, risers, downers, and also guitar power chords. So we're going to have a sort of dive into what they sound like and kind of explain how it all works. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in deals like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let's get started. So here is Tonal Trailer Tools. Um, this is a contact full library, which means you will have to own contact full to be able to use it. And all you're gonna do is from the folder, drag it over into contact. Uh, so to break down what we're gonna have a quick look at, uh, we have Titan, which are guitar power chords. We have downers uh, with a variety of different sort of things here, which are sort of all one bars or two bars long. Um, we have the hits, which are two different sets. We have the risers, which are a bit more. We have sort of more to choose from here. We have one, two, and four bars and various different lengths um, of notes. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna have a quick look at today. Um, so as you can see here, the interface is really nice. And what I'm doing here is moving my mod wheel and that is actually acting as a cutoff filter. Um, so we can see here, if we have it on just now, you can hear one of the downers, which is pretty cool. So, so if we start up here, cut it off however you want uh, and bring it back again. So it just kind of adds an extra kind of sort of like flavor to what you want to do with these. Um, so we'll have a listen to a few more before we move on. So let's pick the four bar chopped 16th notes. Um, what Alex has done is actually some, create something very, very clever because a lot of the time with like different sort of samples and stuff you're using for creating sort of like trailer music or whatever electronic projects or anything, uh, a lot of the time trimming things down to fit sometimes is a complete pain. So he's basically cut our work in half by making sort of one, two or four bars, um, which are nice and easy to be able to kind of record, um, neatly, um, so thank you, Alex. <laughs> uh, again, these are like the risers here. You can see very pretty interface. Um, so we're gonna have another quick listen to that again. If you look at that, you can see really nice kind of cutoff filter. <laughs> Prettiest cutoff filler I've ever seen. Um, so let's just have a quick listen before we play with that. So if we were to use the cutoff filter on that. Very easy to make something a bit different too with that. Um, listen to maybe two more. Nice. And just the two bars now. Mm -hmm. 
we'll have a look at the Johannes, which I think is just like bonus content. So let's have a quick look at the hits now. There'll be plenty more for you to have a look at. I'm just kind of covering a few of them to kind of give you an idea. So again, look at this really pretty interface. I love this one the best. I think it's really, 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 well, really aesthetically pleasing. It's nice. <laughs> so. We'll have a quick look now at the Titan now, which is basically guitar power chords. And one of the good things about this is it's, um, these have been recorded with four mono signals instead of two, and it's given this nice big beefy sound. Um, so we'll have a quick listen to the Beast. Try the behemoth. Again, same mod wheel, just looks really cool. A bit of a thinner sound. And lastly, the dragon, which I think. Rightly, it's quite a big sounding one. Hang on. Yeah. So that's been a really quick overview of the Trailer Tools by Alex Pfeffer and we hope to see you next time.